Welcome, welcome to a brand new podcast, and this is the Oracle 19, and my name is Greatness. Uh, thank you for the guys as they're rolling along in the, this month of December. I'd like to thank your guys for your continued support and passing the word around worldwide, and please continue doing that uh, posting the podcast on your social media platform and pass along to family, friends, and folk. I thank you. And I love you. And you're delicious. Support. And, you know, buy something on the website. Shop online. It's getting close to that Christmas day. And you can shop at www.evolutionoflondon.com. Again, we have a whole wide range of products, so support that. Again, it's www.evolutionoflondon.com. And also support my other uh, website, www.evolutionoflondon.org. Once again, that's www.evolutionoflondon.org. O-R-G. We have custom clothing, accessories, and digital products. So support that as well. Music by Cheap Limousine. Cheap Limousine channel is on all major platforms. Uh, you can just go to his channel, and he, that will give you the links of the other channels of his platform. We have a whole wide range of different beats. So Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And speaking about channels, Greatness 19, that's our channel. We have a whole wide range of educational videos to once again open up the third eye. So like, subscribe, share, pass the information. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, family, friends, and folk. And then also through our channel uh, tab, you will click on that. You will see Mr. Evolution of London. That's that's our health and wellness channel. So definitely support that as well. So Mr. Evolution of London and Greatness 19, like, subscribe, and share. And we have different links to other major platforms, which is www.linktree.com. Dot com forward slash evolution of London. There, that's our links to different products and websites. So, definitely check that out. Our Patreon channel, Mr. Evolution, or sorry, our Patreon channel, www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. We have videos that is not on YouTube and consultant services as well. So, check that out. Mr. Will support. He's our fitness consultant and can be your fitness consultant as well. He's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. Any questions or concerns, you can email him at willysfitness99 at gmail.com. That's willys, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And his website is Accessories. Com. So again, that's www.wjaaccessories.com. And any business or sponsorship inquiries, if you want to put your information on this platform, email me at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. So if, again, if you want to put your brand on this platform, uh, we local, regional, and worldwide as well, and, and continue to grow. So that is evolution of london at gmail.com for any business or sponsorship inquiries same email if you want to 
pay on our, make a small uh, free will offering. <coughs> Excuse me. Free small will offering, evolution of London at gmail.com, same email. And we do have a GoFundMe page, which is in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast. And again, we're on all major platforms. Anchor.fm, Google, iTunes, Spotify, Apple, just to name a few. So all the links is on the platforms. And anything that I haven't mentioned about the Oracle 19 podcast or Greatness 19 or Mr. Evolution. Again, like, subscribe, and share. And all the information is in the description box of all those major platforms. All right, well, today we will talk about something I know will maybe make you feel a little emotional. Heard a little feelings. That's not my intentions. I just want to give you always my perspective. Why platonic female friends are useless. And I, oh, I should say, are they are platonic female friends useless? Maybe I should say that instead. And again, I'm going to give you my perspective. This might apply to you. Maybe, maybe not. But we will get right into it. I think, you know, uh, having female friends, in a way, to some degree, is useless for me. I'm going to break that down. And I already is triggering people already by saying that. You see, I think it's useless. If you, I mean, I have, I have, I have had, you know, females that I consider just friends, you know. My definition of friends for females, like it, one, if I grew up in the neighborhood where from as a childhood from childhood I should say and you have females that was you know you just say hey how you doing small talk you know and you see them every day or you went to school with them and you develop a friendship like that and the friendship is very basic hi bye hey how you doing how's the family this and that you know, keep a rapport like that from a distance. You see them in the streets or you run into them once in the blue. Hey, how you doing? Uh, You know, everything good, blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's one avenue. Um, Another, uh, in my opinion of uh, definition of a, let's say, female friend, let's say she's a doctor or a lawyer politician, a professional in general, somebody that can, it's going to maybe sound a little superficial per se, but if we have a good rapport together on a professional level, if I need some legal advice or if I need a a doctor's advice as a female friend, because I do know females that are doctors, I do know females that are lawyers. And, and professionals in general. If I had a call on them, and politicians as well. If I had a call on them for a personal or certain advice or or just help me or refer to me to someone, I like to have those female friends. You can call them even associates, but I, I, can, I can go for that. Okay, so I'm, I'm giving you these examples, guys, so walk with me. I'm giving you my perspective, but this might apply to you as well. But here where I find that is useless for me. I can't have a female, you know, I used to 
be a, in my opinion, a jackass with this, but I can't. You know, it's a female that is a, a, a person. You know, you you just buddy buddy with her. You meet up. You go to a restaurant. You hang out like you would hang out with a dude. And and then after that, that's it. Y'all go home. You go home. She goes to her place. You go to your place. That. No, you do that with dudes. Just feel me out, guys. Let's listen carefully, especially you younger guys. What is the point of having that type of friend that you just pile around with and you ain't getting nothing out of it? Now, this sounds very, okay, superficial, and I know it might trigger some of y'all, but I really think that's useless. And sometimes females, a lot of females want to put you in that category just a friend. You pile around with. The level uh, that I'm on right now, if I'm not hitting it, or using the word smash, smash, if I'm not going to smash, or haven't smashed before, what's the freaking point? Why? Why? Why would I just want to meet a new random female and we just pile around together and just be friends and go out to a museum together, walk in the park together, go to a club together, and I haven't smashed or there's no attention of smashing? That is useless to me. And I know a lot of men feel the same way. That's why I said I was a real jackass in the past, in my opinion, just wasting my time. Time is everything. Time is greater than money. See, you can always get money. You can recoup money, but you can't recoup your time. Once Friday is gone, it's gone. That Friday is gone forever, and it will not return. You just got to wait for the following Friday to get what you need or accomplish whatever your goal you need, or the following day, I should say. So a lot of these uh, females just want to put you in a certain friend zone while they have their real man they're trying to pursue or have pursued, and then if it don't work out, then you the fallback guy. A lot of these females play these games, and men don't allow that. They just want to hold on to you why, because of your male energy. You know, they have other men on the side, the real men that is blowing their back out, but you just the one they want to pile around with, hang out with, and, and be the emotional sponge for them. And I say hell to the no. Guys, stop wasting your time. Time is everything. If she's not ready to smash or haven't smashed in the past. Now, if I have smashed in the past and we just, you know, cool, we could be cool. Now, that's another dynamic of friendship. I gave you two others. But this isn't like you hit it in the past and, you know, it just don't work out. And, you know, you see her in the street, you can even kick the talk and stuff, you know, providing, you know, you don't have, there's no husband and wife in the mix because again you that that could be very tricky you know i i get to that in a moment but if you know if you had you know intercourse and now you're just friends and you're cool you can see in the streets and stuff and hey how you doing you can even have a nice little 15 minute conversation catching up on some positive times and and some future events that's that's cool in the game no problem I can work with that. Good friend. Good friend. Cool. You know, we could talk certain things because we had an understanding. Cool. But somebody you just fresh and new and you and you trying to hit it or or she ain't giving you nothing and you just hanging out and power power around and this is my buddy. Get out of here. You kidding me? And a lot of men, y'all fall into that. You allow that. 
and you'd be suckered into thinking, yeah, it's okay, I've been friends. Yeah, we just pal around and we just knit together, we cook together, we go to the museum and we walk around and stop it. Don't waste your time. Time is everything, man. What's wrong with you, man? Stop wasting your time. Me personally, I have done that. Degenerate stuff, in my opinion. Simpish stuff. Wasting my time stuff. No more. Females that, if, if it's not, if, if I see her and, if, and we, we got to be talking something or she got to bring something really to stimulate me. If she's not a professional where I can say, okay, here's a, she passed me a business card in the future. I can contact her. She's not a professional you know, and on that level or, you know, she's not bringing that to the table or or we haven't smashed in the past or whatever, you know, I mean, some random, some new and she going to be telling me we just going to be friends. No. And I'm hoping I'm making sense, guys. I hope, you know, I hope my rambling is not, you know, I'm not just blabbling, you know, just I hope it's, it's clear. If not, just email me. <laughs> but um, I, I just, I, I, again, I have a lot of thoughts in my head and I'm just speaking upon it. And and I just, I think it's useless, totally useless to have that set up for you men especially. The advantage is the women in reality. The disadvantage is you. Now, sh- y'all men... Y'all simpish men can say, well, you know, and this is my perspective. Well, you know, she could give me advice, you know, of other women. You're supposed to get that from your mammy or your grandmammy or your sister or your cousin, cousins. That's what those women in the family for is to help you out of other advice. I mean, other, you know, advice, I should say, of, of, of women in the streets. If you can't get that advice from your mammy, your grandmammy, or your cousins or your sisters, you you effed up in the game. Or you can't, if you want a female perspective, if you're looking for a female perspective. Nowadays, you could go on YouTube and there's females out here that speak my talking points. I'm getting I, this information from other females talking about you men what you shouldn't do. So if you confuse, send me a link. I mean, send me your email. I'll send you a link of other females that will talk with the same thing I'm talking about, they agree with. So if you need that female advice right now, nowadays, you can go on YouTube and get that. You could go all throughout social media and email females that that's even saying. Paton, having platonic females is useless. So men, there's no excuses. Other women are saying the same thing I'm saying. Come on. Give me a break. See, don't listen to these women here and say, oh, it's okay, Evan. You know, we could pal around and all that. No. Don't waste your time, guys, because females will waste your time. They're supposed to. <laughs> I know that you you caught that being a little facetious here. So, mm-mm. don't do it. I think it's is a waste. My personal opinion. Just again, you have to put things in perspective, men. If you if you don't, you're gonna be going in a circle with these females. They just gonna be running this old school game. You know, you just walk in the park. I walk in the park. That's it. I mean, you walk with a park with your woman. Well, you're gonna be walking the park with a female that I ain't trying to smash. She come to my house. We sit down and talk. If I, I'm trying to smash. Eventually, you taking her to movies. You trying to smash. Eventually, 
You take him to the movies? Or the restaurant, excuse me? You trying to smash. Eventually. What is the point? You talking about platonic. Unless it fits those criteria that I mentioned previously, then yeah, that could be applicable to you. But if you just or some new female and then you, she just established, I don't want to do anything. I just want us to be friends. Well, you know what? Have a nice day. There's, you know, there's psychiatrists that you can be friends with. There's people, you know, other girlfriends you can talk to. You you can go on social media and rant all day and have and, and meet friends. But I can't be your friend. I ain't trying to be your friend unless you fit those previous criteria. And the only criteria, the uh, only friend uh, I would say if you're going to have a female friend should be your woman, guys. First, if, I, if it makes sense for you or to you. But come on, these random females, man, they will waste your time. They really would with all this platonic friendship and stuff like that. Conjure up all of this game just to cause confusion and waste time. While they have their men that they seeking, they just want you as the, the backup guy. Look, man, this is a fast track out here, men. And please do not just waste your time. Time is everything. Always keep that in mind. Time is everything. And this is why I feel that having... Oh, boy. Have, why, this is why I feel just platonic females... Useless. Use freaking lists. No. Something to think about, men. And ladies are just a, as a little giving you a little tidbit. Stop wasting time with that. Also, if you need a male fe- a male friend, you that's what you're supposed to have. Cousins, male. Reach out to your men cousins, your daddy, your granddaddy. You might not have them around. Your brother, your mo- brother might be stupid. You got cousins, God. If you don't have nobody in your family, that's jacked up as well. But the beautiful thing about this society, you could go on YouTube, email other men out here, listen to my podcast, of course, and email me because I'm the ish. All right, you know, ha ha, chuckle, chuckle. You you have sources. If you want to reach out to men to get a perspective, don't waste men's time out here. It could lead to something bad. You got a lot of emotional men out here, you know, that, and then they, they get in their feelings and then they want to do a murder, death, kill. I don't want to see y'all ladies getting into drama like that. Keep it simple. Because then you got a lot of emotional men out here. You know, you my girl. You know, you walk in the park and she, he's thinking there's more and he's, and you say no. And then now he want to get the nine and say, if you, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. You know, you don't do that. I mean, I understand it because I, I don't want to, I don't waste, I don't want my time wasted and I'm going to be upfront with you, you know, but some men is emotional. They want to air out their nine on you and then you running for cover. And I don't want to see y'all ladies there just being a murder, death, kill on your part. So don't waste men's time. Men, female friends are useless. Aim high. Thank you for listening. Thank <laughs> you.